Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some breezy conditions out there this morning. We do have a wind advisory in effect, and that will most likely remain in effect for the remainder of the day. Today, we have some partly to mostly cloudy conditions out there today. Going to see more sunshine this morning with uh, more clouds this afternoon. Cooler temperatures today, only seeing temperatures in the mid-50s for highs. We have that strong cold front roll through yesterday afternoon, and it provided us with this colder air mass in the region today. Taking a look at the archive lightning from yesterday, you can see uh, 10 nautical miles here from the island. Looking at the cloud to ground strikes, you can see a fair amount of lightning across the region yesterday as those storms rolled through. And zooming into the island, you can see we did have some lightning within about a mile to two nautical miles. Nothing was in a mile, but uh, seeing a good amount of lightning out there and the cloud to ground strikes here showing uh, a few strikes close to the island yesterday. So some active weather. And taking a look at the uh, severe weather reports yesterday, you can see uh, right along the east coast of the United States and the Mid-Atlantic up into the northeast states, uh, seeing some wind reports uh, near Wallops yesterday, also some wind reports over the tidewater, and some hail reports in Delaware and Maryland. Saw some small hail um, in the lower eastern shore yesterday, seeing some near Salisbury, also seeing some near uh, Shinkatig yesterday. So some fairly potent storms across the region that rolled through yesterday. Uh, won't be seeing any of that today, just some uh, windy conditions and partly cloudy skies. Our freezing level this morning and our sounding was 1,900 feet. Winds about uh, 25 to 30 knots out of the northwest between 1,000 and 3,000 feet. Then we see our winds remaining around that 20 to 35 knot uh, marker out of the northwest from six to 9,000 feet, then seeing our winds increase and seeing some speed shear between 16 and 25,000 feet this morning and seeing a, a jet streak across the region this morning out of the west, 145 knots at 25,000 feet. So taking a look at our surface analysis, we have high pressure building in from the west. Area low pressure well off of the northeast that pushed that cold front through yesterday. You can see this high pressure build in for tonight. Some breezy conditions with that tighter pressure gradient between the low and the high over our region today. So taking a look at our satellite imagery, currently we do have a good amount of cloud cover, especially north and west of Wallops. Over Wallops, just seeing a bit of a break over the ocean as well as uh, some more cloud cover off the west. And you can see we scroll through time here. We have uh, those clouds developing and moving through the region and uh, most likely going to see ceilings between about five and 8,000 feet today with these clouds rising a bit during the afternoon hours. So taking a look at the camera shot, currently looking off the north of the island, you can see we do have that cloud cover streaming in across the region and a uh, pretty day out there overall with these stratocumulus clouds rolling through. So taking a look at the European mile in the next few days, this is for this afternoon, tighter pressure gradient across the region giving us those breezy conditions. And then that high builds in for overnight tonight, that's going to give us temperatures in the upper 30s, most likely for the overnight hours with those lighter winds. Uh, clear skies in general, going to see uh, some cold temperatures to start the end of your work week. And for Friday, looking like high pressure slides off the coast, giving us some moderating atmosphere and allow for us to see temperatures in the lower 60s. And for Saturday, we'll see a transitional day, high pressure moving off the coast, but an area low pressure developing in the deep south moving towards our region for Saturday evening. That's going to give us rain showers and a possibility of a thunderstorm for Saturday night into Sunday. Uh, thunderstorm chances look slim at this time, but can't roll it out with a decent amount of energy moving through with that area low pressure moving close to the region as well. So looking like rain showers are likely. And once we move into Sunday morning, should see those rain showers move out by about 10 to 11 o'clock uh, Sunday morning and just seeing some residual, residual low-level cloud cover in here uh, for uh, early Sunday afternoon before we see a decent amount of sunshine most likely for Sunday evening as well as some breezy conditions across the region. Then for Monday, we'll have high pressure building in, and this is going to set the stage for a warm-up for next week as we'll have a large area high pressure move off the coast for Tuesday and setting up our Bermuda high across the eastern portion of the United States, and that's going to give us some warm temperatures, even possibly uh, getting into the hot regime for uh, just west of our region into, the, uh, into Virginia and central Virginia for uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, possibly going to see some first 90s of the spring across that region. Not going to see anything like that a while, just uh, some upper 70s and uh, 
possibly could see some lower 80s on on Wednesday. Uh, but right now, uh, that looks like it, that would most likely happen uh, inland away from the coast. So taking a look at a risk chart for today, we'll have those windy conditions gusting up to around 30 knots throughout the day into the evening hours, a high around 55 today, a low tonight around 39 as those winds calm down the northwest at 5 to 10 knots. Otherwise, tranquil conditions across the region with a green chart other than the winds. Looking at our terminal forecast, going to see those ceilings anywhere from about five to 8,000 feet today, and then we'll see uh, mostly clear skies once we move into the overnight hours, VFR conditions the next 24 hours. Our tides are normal, and looking at Friday and Saturday. Friday, mostly sunny to partly cloudy and slightly breezy, a high of 61. Friday night, mostly clear to partly cloudy, light winds, seeing a low of 45 degrees. Green chart across the board for Friday and Friday night. And for Saturday, partly to mostly cloudy, breezy. Excuse me, partly to mostly cloudy, becoming overcast. Rain showers likely by evening. It will be slightly breezy, as I mentioned, a high of 66 degrees. We'll see. Uh, about a 60 to 70 percent chance of that rainfall uh, late Saturday, and uh, possibility of seeing those ceilings below uh, 500 feet with that rain moving in. So the next seven days, we'll see that cooler condition today with the coolest of the next seven, uh, seeing moderating temperatures I mentioned on Friday, and then a decent day for Saturday before the rain arrives. Highs in the mid to upper 60s along the coast coast should see some lower 70s possible inland on Saturday. Then Sunday looks like northwesterly breezes in the afternoon will give us down sloping winds off the mountains, allowing us to warm up fairly nicely into the upper 60s to lower 70s. We'll see that rainfall Saturday night to Sunday and a possibility of a thunderstorm as well. Then Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, as I mentioned, we'll see that high pressure build overhead on Monday. Temperatures about seasonable for this time of year in the lower to mid 60s, and we're going to see that warm Warm up across the region for Tuesday and Wednesday, 70 on Tuesday, and then 79 on Wednesday at Wallops. Should see some lower 80s, possibly some mid 80s inland on the Delmarva on Wednesday. And as I mentioned, could see the first 90s across the Middle Atlantic region uh, west of the Chesapeake Bay on Wednesday of next week. So it really looks like a, a warm up in store after we've had these cooler conditions in the last few, uh, few days in and out of here. But overall, I hope everybody has a great day, and we'll be back tomorrow morning at 8.15 at 10 a.m.